Hello, hello. Welcome to Hockey Playoff Edition. I'm Miguel Medina. Once again, reunited with my partner, Avery Jones. Avery, how's it going? It's going great. Uh, hockey playoff, second round. Uh, really exciting. Uh, last night and the game we're talking about, absolutely top tier. What hockey hockey playoff playoff games are about. Edmonton, Edmonton, oh man. Ugh. To give up, to squander a three goal lead, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Now they know what the Islanders felt against Carolina in that game. But oh my goodness, the third period was just a nightmare period for Skinner, for Stuart Skinner. It was absolutely a nightmare. You give up two goals in the second period, and then you give up three goals in the third period. Vancouver Canucks, you know, much credit to them. They didn't quit. They came back and they stole game one from Edmonton. And, you know, they protected the home court. Vancouver's looking to go up 2 0, but if you're Edmonton, you have to close out games. You have to defend the net well. You have to play better because you cannot give up away games like this. You can't. You're you're absolutely correct. Edmonton came out with I mean, I mean they they wanted to set the tone. Um, not only do you have Connor McDavid, you have Evander Kane just causing havoc, but they had a, a a set group of players to just go ahead and and just hammer at the goal to to just shake up Vancouver. And you might as well call them, you know, like a, a lot of outlets are calling them the comeback Canucks. If you're doing that, if you're getting beat up on your home court, you have to reset. So they give up the first two goals in the first period. You know, then you you have uh, uh, JT, JT Miller starting the scoring. Uh, but then, no, actually, Dakota Joshua is starting the scoring, which actually cuts that deficit in half. But then to kind of close out the second period, you cut that deficit in half. So you have a little bit of momentum going into the third period. But literally in the span of about six minutes, not only do, do you tie up the game, do the Oilers lose that two-goal lead, the Canucks just just hammer them, and and all of a sudden you you're you're up five four and you're trying to figure out what happened, and not only that these 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 goals just kind of came out of nowhere. You have you know your 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 top tier players you know that you want them to score, but the Canucks just had weapons everywhere, and the game winner was Connor Garland. He scored the second goal within 39 seconds. And then all of a sudden the Canucks and that place was jumping. If you look at those highlights, the Vancouver crowd was definitely behind their hometown team. The Canucks fought and fought and fought for that game one. And I think this game one, like a lot of game ones in any playoff series always sets the tone. So the Canucks coming off their series with Nashville Friday and then starting at, at at this time for game one. But then you have the Oilers who have been off for about five or six days starting. And usually when teams have that long layoff before a second round, you might see a little bit of rust. But the Oilers started off strong and you figured, OK, this is just going to be um, you know, all the Oilers, but the Canucks did not give up. They did not give up at all. And definitely uh, for for Hyman, who scored two goals and he leads the playoffs with nine. So definitely if there's if there's one person who's hot right now, it's 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 Hyman. It's Hyman. You took the words out of my mouth. Zach Hyman, he's on fire. He's having a mesmerizing season for Edmonton. It feel bad for him that his performance were went to waste, but that crowd, that crowd was rocking. And that's what I love about the hockey playoffs. You have a crowd that's into it, and there's the unpredictability side of it. You don't know who's going to go all the way. You don't know who's going to advance. So in the Stanley Cup playoffs, 
it's, it's just amazing. Just an amazing time. You're right. And not only, and not only that, it's where, where are your heroes going to come from? No, you know, you, you, you have all these stars that are, that are in these games to play, but you never know who's going to be that, that hero, who's going to hit that slap shot, who's going to take that big hit, who's going to give that big hit. You know, your goalies, goalies are kind of, you know, the steadfast individuals when it comes to not just games, but especially during playoff games. We've seen some great goalie performances so far, but even in just game one, we saw two goalies that one looked, hey, my team gave me a good lead and I'll just protect it. But then you had another goalie who was down and said, you know what, I need to reset I need, I need, I need to get behind my teammates. My teammates are here for me. The crowd is here for me. And we're gonna, we're gonna make a difference. We're gonna come back in order to win this game. And not only did they come back, they have set the tone for game two on Friday night. And if you are Edmonton right now, you need to figure out what happened. If it's not just, you know, you know, goalie performance that that Skinner gave up, especially in a short amount of time in a third period when you're coming in leading and really all you have to do is protect that lead for 20 minutes, but you have the Canucks that are just hammering your goalie and you are just giving him chances. And then all of a sudden they are just making things happen. But you, you said kind of the one things that is really top tier when it comes to playoff hockey. And that is the crowd. The home crowd literally can make all the difference. And one thing I loved about sports, especially in the past few years, you have fans that are going to travel to see their team. So the Canucks and Edmonton, they're not that far apart. So, you know, uh, any, any, any fans in Western Canada, if they have the means to, they're going to support their team on the road or at home. And I think this series could be a real nail biter, especially after how that first game ended.